This is a part of a series of video regarding how to use technology for your IB math studies internal assessment. Um, another video I went through how you could calculate standard deviation. Um, for this video I'm going to focus on um, finding the R value or what we call the Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient. Um, again as usual you find these values during your test or during questions in class using your calculator but for your internal assessment if you want to use this as a type of um, sophisticated mathematical process you'll have to do it by hand for a big data set I expect you to have about a hundred it's not um, it's not practical to actually do it by hand so do make the use of the technology that you have um, this is the formula for the correlation coefficients. It's the this value divided by these two values multiplied. Um, the value at the top, the S subscript XY, is called the covariance. And the values at the bottom are basically just the standard deviations of X and Y. Your X and Y are your two data sets. Um, so you, we find the covariance, we divide them by the standard deviation of X, the standard deviation of Y. Um, and we find the covariance using this formula, which I've broken down um, just as I did in the standard deviation video. So uh, to find the standard deviation of each data set, I've already done a video on that, so please go through that process first. Um, if you don't want to use um, these, if you don't want to do the standard deviation calculation on your own, then it won't be counted as a mathematical process, so be careful about that. Um, I'm just skipping through for the, um, so that I can cut through time on this video, otherwise you'll have to do the mean and standard deviation on your own. So the mean for the age, that's the first thing we need to find now, so I'm just going to use um, average from Excel, and then. This average. Um, so this question regards the uh, um, the age and um, time it takes to reach a level of proficiency in typing. Um, so this is the average for each and then we have the standard deviation from Excel is basically stdef dot P if you have population, S if you have sample, for your IAs you are expected to do population. Um, and then similarly, these are all to more decimal places, but I've already reduced the decimal places in these cells. You can reduce or increase the decimal places in here. This reduces, this increases. Um, so now that we found the mean and standard deviation, we'll be using these later. So for now, I've broken down the covariance into these uh, four columns um, just to make it easier. So the first thing you'll have to do is if you look at the formula here, we'll have to do each data set minus the mean of x multiplied by each data set minus the mean of y divided by how many data sets we have in total. So I'm just going to do this. I have 32 minus the mean. And again, I'm going to drag this down, but I don't want the mean to be dragged down as well. So I'm just going to put a dollar sign to fix it. And then we're going to bring it, drag it down. Just click on the formula just to double check it's doing it correctly. And then similarly, I'm going to do it for y. I'll have this value minus the mean. And I'm going to fix the mean. Um, and then I'll have to multiply the x value by the y value. Drag it down again. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide each one by how many data sets I have. So we have 15 data sets. So I'm going to take this value and divide by 15. We're going to do it for all of them. So it took us a few minutes just to do this, uh, probably one minute to go through this. You will obviously have 100 data sets, but as you can see, it's much easier to do it than actually doing the calculations by hand one by one. So right now we've done this. We did the multiply, uh, we did the subtraction, we did the multiplication, we divided by n. Now all we have to do is add them together, and this will give us the covariance. So the covariance now is just basically the sum of all of these values. 
and it's 36.55. Um, now we know that the S subscript X is the standard deviation, so of this value, and the S subscript Y is the standard deviation of the Y value, and I'm just going to reduce the number of decimal places. The reason I'm reducing the decimal places is because you are, as you do in any other science project as well, you, it's much better if you have your table to the same number of decimal places. Um, so you can increase it if you want to, to three decimal places for more accuracy or less. Um, you can do four just to be more careful. Um, and then we're going to calculate the R value. So basically the R value is taking the covariance divided by the standard deviations multiplied. So it's going to be S subscripts Y divided by, I'm going to open a bracket, this value multiplied by that value. And that's it. So this is the R value, 0 0.9389698. And this, you can check this value using your um, calculator if you want to. Um, and you can conclude from here that it's a strong uh, positive correlation between the H and the time taken to reach the proficiency level. Um, and that's it, quite easy to do, should it take too long and quite helpful. Just remember to check your calculations carefully.